Okay, here we've got a quite nasty looking equation. We've got 6x plus 5 lots of 2 minus 3x is equal to 3 minus 2 lots of x minus 1. Let's see if we can solve this equation. Get rid of the brackets first by expanding them out. Okay, I'm going to leave the 6x exactly unchanged, and I'm going to say plus 5 times 2 is the same as plus 10. Then I'm going to say plus 5 times negative 3x is minus 15x. So that gets changed into that. Equals. Do not be tempted to work out 3 take away 2. We don't have that. What we've got is 3 take away 2 lots of the bracket. So what we now do is say minus 2 lots of x is minus 2x. And minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. So the minus there actually becomes a plus when you expand it out. Let's tidy up a little bit on both sides. On the left hand side I can see that I can combine these x's. 6x with minus 15x we get minus 9x's using number line or army method. Okay, the plus 10 I'm going to remain as plus 10 unchanged. On the right hand side I can also tidy up this time because I've got a 3 and a plus 2. Well they can go together, both of them are pluses so you get plus 5 or 5. And then I've got a minus 2x, which doesn't simplify, which goes on at the end. So we end up with minus 9x plus 10 equals 5 minus 2x. An equation with x's on both sides. So we're going to simply collect the x's on the side with most x's. Be careful. In this particular case, you might think, because that's 9 and that's 2, there's more x's on the left. But we've got minus 9x. There's a minus there. Minus 9x and minus 2x. Minus 9 is a smaller number than minus 2. So if I was solving this equation, I think the easiest thing to do is actually take the x's to the right-hand side because minus 2 is more x's. So what I'm going to do is leave the minus 2x alone. Minus 2x, put it down first. It doesn't swap sides, so it remains minus 2x. And I'm going to take the minus 9x to the other side and it swaps to become a plus 9x on the right-hand side. Let's take the numbers the other way. I've got the 10 and the 5 to deal with. The plus 10 doesn't have to swap sides, so it remains plus. I can drop the plus if it's the first thing I write down. You don't need to write it down underneath. You can put it displaced to one side, as long as it's on the left. And then the 5, take that to the other side. Well, it's got a plus in front of it to begin with. Take it to the other side. That changes to a minus 5. Let's now just tidy up on both sides. 10 take away 5 on the left, that's 5. And then we've got minus 2x's plus 9x's. Well, the pluses win a 5 by 7, so you get 7x's on the right-hand side. Don't want 7x, I want x. So to go from 7x to get x, I share the right-hand side by 7. So I share the left-hand side by 7 as well to keep it balanced. So the left-hand side becomes 5 and I share that by 7. 5 shared by 7 is not a nice number. The answer is the fraction 5 sevenths.